Hi guys, I'm Suvin from WZ2 and um, you are watching I Dated in 15. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about securing Express apps uh, with Escardio Express SDK. So let's jump in. Uh, before we go into coding, I have already written a blog on this whole process. So the link is in the description box down below and um, you guys can check that out too. Now um, let's head over to the code. So as you can see, I have already created an Express application and um, it's running on port 5000. So we can implement OIDC authentication on top of this sample app. Now let's head over to our documentation here. So this is the official Ascari uh, Auth Express SDK documentation. And um, I highly recommend that you guys go through this before implementing your applications. And if you scroll down here, um, you can see the prerequisites. So as the prerequisites, you need an organization and an Escardio account uh, to be created beforehand. So if you don't have one already, you can head over to escardio.io slash sign up and then create an account for free. So all these links are in the description down below. And um, after creating an account, um, you need to have a standard based application within the console itself. So once again, if you don't know how to do this, please head over to my blog. So there I have some links over to uh, so some how to guides with step by step introduction in instructions to do so. So now let's uh, install the Express SDK. So I'm going to copy and paste this one. Since I'm using npm, I can straight away copy this one. And if you are using yarn, you can use yarn add at Asgardio slash auth express. Let's paste that one here. So in the meantime, while this, uh, okay, the SDK is installed already. Now let's go back to our documentation. So now we have to import our Escardio Express client from the uh, SDK itself. So you can do this by this line. I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it here. Right. So now that the Escardio Express client is imported, we can configure that one as well. Now I'm going back to the uh, documentation and I'm copying the uh, client config from this one. Let me paste it here. So um, this client config, it has all the configuration information that is needed by our Express uh, SDK to initiate the authorization flow with the IDP. So uh, you can see that we have uh, five parameters here. So now I have to go back to my Escadio uh, console. Uh, now you can see I have already created a standard base application in my console and from here I can copy my client ID and client secret. I'm going to do that on now. Let's go to the client ID and then the client secret. Right? And if I go back to here, you can see that my organization name has set to Suin K. So I'm going back to the code and add that on as my organization. Right. Uh, now that we are done with the client config, we can actually initiate uh, initialize our SDK. I'm going back to my SDK. So you can see that um, we can use the get instance method to initialize the Express SDK. I'm going to paste that down here. And uh, all you have to do is pass down this client config to the guest in instance method and the client, uh, the Escadio Express client will be initialized. Right, so now we have to do a small thing. I'm going to go back to my um, Escadio console and under the protocol, I'm going to scroll down. And here we can see uh, two sections, the authorized redirect URLs and uh, allowed origins. Uh, as you can see, I have already declared localhost 5000 as my allowed origin because you know, my sample app is running on port 5000 in the local host. And then we have a slash logout and slash login uh, routes in the authorized redirect URLs. So the reason why we have um, the slash login and logout uh, route is that the SDK is already pre-configured uh, for these routes to work automatically. You don't have to configure anything. The slash logout and login endpoints will be there for you uh, without any configuration. Now let's go back to the documentation. Now, after 
uh, initializing a squared express client you have to uh, define three callback methods so i'm just going to copy this one uh, all these three methods and paste them here now let's go through one by one so the first callback method is the on sign in method so the on sign in method will be called upon a successful authorization so you can see it accepts response and the response object from the express and the actual response from from the idp in this case if the response exists i'm going to send this uh, whole response object back to the client and the next one is the on sign out uh, method so this can uh, be used to handle a successful uh, logout in this case uh, i'm just sending a message to the client saying that the sign out is successful and then la the last one is the on error method and it is used to handle any errors that happen in the authorization flow. Uh, once again, I'm just sending this error message back to the client with a 400 error code. Now that these three callback functions are done, now we can actually use this Ascadio middleware. I'm going back to the documentation. If you scroll down here, you can see uh, this line of code. I'm going to copy and paste this one again. Now um, you can see that we are using the Ascardio Express Auth middleware and uh, we have passed these three callback functions to here as well. Now uh, at this point, this should be working. The slash login and slash logout uh, routes that I mentioned earlier, um, those should be working. I'm going to hit save. Okay, we have an error. So uh, I have to move these two little up. Now this should be fine. Yes, it's working. Let's go back to our browser. Okay, dust 5000 is working. I'm going to go slash login. Okay, registered callback does not match with the provided URL. Now let's figure out why. So the reason is I just copied and pasted from the uh, documentation uh, itself and I forgot to change this app URL. So the app URLs is the URL that your server runs on. So in my case, it's port 5000 and I, all I have to do is put 5000 here. Let me restart it again. Let's go back to localhost 5000. It's working and then login. Yes, you can see the Ascardio SSO. I'm going to use my pre-configured custom account for this one. Then I have to do this capture. Yes, now you can see a successful response and the access token is here and the ID token is here. Okay, so now that that one is done, let's move on to implement a protected route using the Ascardio Express SDK. Let me go back to the documentation. Let's scroll down a little bit down. And yes, so just like we did earlier, first we have to define a callback function to handle the unauthenticated requests. So I'm going to copy this one. Again, I'm going to paste this one here. Right. So the auth callback function that accepts the response and the error. And if there is an error, I'm just going to send that error with a 400 response code to the client itself. And if there is no error, I'm just going to return true. So just remember this uh, return true is very essential when you are using this middleware because we have to go back, go to the next function in, in the express middleware series. Now I'm going back to the documentation. Now, since we define the callback function uh, successfully, we can uh, actually initiate the middleware to protect the route. So uh, now we can use the Ascardio express client dot protect route. That's a middleware that we are used to protect individual routes and then pass in the auth callback URL, sorry, the auth callback function. And then finally, uh, we can define a new route with our authenticated middleware. So you can see I have passed down the authenticated middleware to the slash protected route. So I'm going to hit save again 
and I'm going to head back to my browser and go to the slash protected route then it says unauthenticated the reason for this is uh, I just restarted my node server and my authentication session has expired I'm going to go to the login once again yes it's successful then I'm going back to protected yes you can see the hello from the protected route response so that's um, how you can use Ascadio Express client uh, to add OIDC authentication to your Express apps um, now if you have any questions I'm happy to answer you can put this put your all the questions in the YouTube chat box below so um, while we are waiting for questions let me show you some stuff real quick so yeah um, we have this WSO2 identity server slack channel here um, you can ask your identity server related questions in the slack channel and get them answered and um, also we have this um, wso 2 im community twitter as well hit the follow button and uh, make sure you check out our tweets as well so, uh, since i'm not seeing any questions in the chat um, i think we are good to wrap up this episode of identity in 15 and um, as always you can watch our past episode on the wso 2 youtube channel and um, stay tuned for our next episodes of wso 2 uh, uh, I mean the identity in 15 series as well so thanks for joining and have a great day